Hello and welcome to the All Hockey Hair Team. It's good to be back because I have to say this hasn't been the best year for hair. There have been some challenges. Some of you might have heard I moved to New York and you're wondering if anything's different. Well, I have learned about Dwayne Reed's. If you're from Minnesota, a Dwayne Reed's pretty much like a Perkins, only with more stuff. And I've kind of fallen in love with New York baseball, surprisingly. There's just something about it, the baseball out here, that is easy to like. I tried something a little different this year. I went with a theme, flowetry. Lest you doubt that poets have great flow, I give you our starting six. If this was a high school team, it might be the Bruton Bards. We'd have Billy at center. Walt and Wild on the wings. Ed and Al on D. And Bobby and Nets. Woo! Here goes a little iambic pucktameter. Well, it's that time of year again. The boys of winter are headed to St. Paul, ready for their Channel 45 close-up when their name we do call. This year's double-A tourney looked to be quite the beast. Mr. Middlestad's unfinished business out west and Hill Murray from the east. With a puck poetry theme, I went to work on my lettuce lyric, my salad sonnet. When you have dirty junk like this, there's no reason to wear bucket or bonnet. The Trojans were back with just 10 wins, but you must always respect the champ. Grand Rapids came down from the north with Miller, McLaughlin, and Hain ready to light the lamp. OMG brought some looks that could make you say, oh my god and you knew Moorhead had a chance with this kid on the squad. The short-haired cadets were back, who I've always given a hard time. It's just that high and tight and academy are a little bit harder to rhyme. Lakeville was back, only this time the Cougars from the south. What's that? Only the big schools have flow? Hair man town says, watch your mouth. St. Cloud Cathedral clearly doubled down after feeling snubbed last year. Wait, isn't East Grand Forks in North Dakota? How'd you guys get here? Single A was fun with the Raiders, Matamidis, Bleach, and Delano having a ball. One look we didn't see was wipers, like this 90s throwback from St. Paul. Monticello, Annandale, Maple Lake. With a name like that, we'll just call you the law firm. Are those mud flaps on your 18-wheeler? Surely, you must be from Laverne. And we did break some new ground at the tourney in 2017. We had dabs, eating, and glasses arriving on the scene. No one said it would be easy. To grab glory, you must survive the gauntlet. But before all the hard work starts, the czars of the salad bar still flaunt it. Because to get to state in Minnesota, you gotta be good, and you gotta be clutch. Otherwise, we would have seen these two beauties from down in Hutch. Well, that's enough flowetry. Time to set down my pen because it's time we get to the All Hockey Hair Team Top 10. Our list starts with Tommy from the Champs, who reminds us long hair don't care as he catches the wind just right. They say life is a series of ebbs and flows. Well, Nick from Eden Prairie hasn't seen an ebb in quite a while. Hey, congrats on the flow. Charlie Coyle, Minnesota Wild, number three. Anyone named Dallas has a good shot to make the team. What's he smirking about? He just shot JR. Next, Lakeville had a really strong showing in the tournament. You've heard of an afro? Say hello to an aflo. You know what the definition of intense is? Being the only guy on your team to dye your hair. We call this the Raggedy Andy. Just want to do a quick shout out to all the mini boys flowing at this year's state tourney. Cheers from Spain. Don't adjust your screens. We're not in HD. That's just the perfect hair of Tyler from OMG. Next up, Griffin from YZ gives us a much needed old school dirty. D I R T A Y. Boys, great flow. <laughs> Number three comes from the inaugural Hendrickson Foundation Disabled Fest, where we found the Hanson Brothers of Special Hockey here. Blake on the sled with some great flow. And it's too bad CNN spent all that money finding Jesus when he was playing for the Warriors and Blaine the whole time. Hey boys, nice salad. 
We call this next look the Charlie Sheen because Tanner's mullet has party in the back and the front. Top of the charts, we have Reagan Garden. They don't tell you his middle name's Olive because he brought unlimited salad to the tournament for everyone. And man, did we need this kid. I mean, look at this. The extra bonus flip for the fans. In a year with lots of uh, geometrics and Bruno Mars haircuts, this kid was here to remind us of what it's all about and inspire a new generation. Coach wasn't even close. Garrett has the Camelot look going. And manager, I hesitate to use that word because watch this animal. He's not a manager. He's a leader. I love this guy. Comes back the next night with his buddy and adds more shenanigans with the cowboy hat. His buddy says, call me maybe. I mean, these guys should be on the front of the Mad Max truck playing a guitar. Well, that wraps up another year. A good reminder why we do this in the first place. To make these kids look like the rock stars that they are. And to help some hockey players in the process with the Henderson Foundation. So special thanks to our sponsors, especially Warrior who gives gear to the military, sled hockey, and special hockey players every time we do this, which is just absolutely awesome. Couldn't have done it without you. Including Hibbing Zone Ryan Companies, also a friend of the Hendrickson Foundation. And for the rest of you guys that support us, thanks for keeping the sideshow in business. We love it. Am I done? Uh, I don't know. I still have a non-bucket list. People that I'd like to get in this movie uh, that I would never like to see in a bucket including this guy here, the Prime Minister of Canada. I'm serious. That is the Prime Minister of Canada, and he needs to be in one of these films. In closing, just remember, vibe is more powerful than noise. And when in doubt, let the music play.